Finally, we'll just have a look at creating perspective views. Easy enough to do. You just click on um, the icon in the render ribbon, which says perspective view. And that will give you a perspective. You can, as normal, with the center mouse wheel held down, you can roll that about to get the, the view that you want. So you will see that can affect the, the rendering how that looks once that's finished so just a little bit of fine adjustment and uh, if you want to with the perspective you can pick under the perspective settings you can change the eye distance where you are based relative to the thing you are viewing you can pick a series of different lenses and you've got other options here which which we'll look at at another time so once you're happy with it, you just click OK, click Render Window. If you remember, I did change that in Render Setup. I've made that draft just to make things a lot quicker. Just render the window. Close the Render Setup dialog window. See, we are in some grand hall on a stage, perhaps at getting ready for a prize presentation for our wonderful primer tasks. That is Perspective View. Very simple to use. Many, many options available to you here. Really, it's a matter of using your own imagination to create many, many different ideas.